Okay, so in this video, let's go ahead and forecast the income statement. If you take a look at what we have here, we've got three years of history. So presumably this came from a company that I'm looking at. And our job is to build the forecast for next year. You know, what's, what's it going to look like? And so how are we going to do all this? Well, that's what this column G is for here. I've got all of the notes of how we're going to do each one of these steps, again, going all the way down through the balance sheet and cash flow statement and so on. So anyway, let's just start with the income statement. I built a couple metrics over here to just help us with our forecast. And so let's look at sales. You know, when you have no other information, and again, this is a very condensed income statement, you know, oversimplifying the exercise, you want to forecast some sales? Well, you just look at the history, what has the business done in the past, and then make a reasonable assumption about the future, and then just most importantly, write it down. You know, why did I come up with that number? So I built a couple metrics here. Of course, very simple because it's an example, but let's look at, you know, a couple years ago. Sales grew 4%. Last year, 4% again. So what's my forecast? Well, 4% feels right. You know, that's pretty consistent. And so now if I look over here, I've got a 4% growth over the prior year. You can see that little formula baked in here, not really relevant for the lesson. But got my sales forecast, 4% growth. Now let's look at our cost of goods sold. We're just going to build this, you know, oversimplified as a percent of our sales. Again, let's just look at the history and then make an assumption about the future. Last several years, 52% cost of goods, so that gave us a gross margin of 48%. Again, no reason to think it would be different. Let's just punch in a 52 here. You can see now I've got my cost of goods and a gross profit coming in at another 48% margin. Now let's go down to the expenses. So the first one here, depreciation, remember that's going to be another schedule. So I've got a yellow placeholder here. We're going to do some work in a future video and then link that back up here. So I'm going to leave that yellow for now. Now this, again, another easy one for our purposes, this is all other expenses. So this is, you know, salaries, rent, insurance, utilities, anything else you can think of that isn't directly related to selling the product. And so let's just think of a growth assumption for next year. Again, we've got three and three. Well, can't hurt to just use three, right? Very straightforward, easy example. I've got some growth over here. So now very, very simply, right? We've made a sales forecast, cost of goods forecast, gross profit, expenses, because what are we solving for? Well, we need to get a net income number in order to build out our balance sheet and our statement of cash flows. And again, for now, we're just going to leave this depreciation alone. We'll come back to that in a future video. Okay, so now that we've got this built out, right, let's move on to the next schedule. And the next one, we're going to do the statement of cash flows, right? So we're going to be skipping the balance sheet. Again, that's the frustrating part. Come down to the statement of cash flows. We'll build this out next, and that will be our next step in this exercise.